Here, get in and win this camera. You've got time, you've got facilities to do it, you've got your own imagination, you've got everything. We should enter. Really but the lake is huge. How will we work it? We'll work it out. We can make that legway he designed in his book. Legway? Segway for Lego guys. Cue epic credits. There we go, full plans ready to go. That's not your authentic 1980s face. Be quiet, I need to be expressive. Doesn't this say screwdriver sharpener? Never mind that, I know what I'm doing. Let's go and mark out the stock. Right, you tell us when the length is correct, we'll make the marks and everyone else can push. Ready? Ready. 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 Push. Stop. Mark there. Mark there. And push. Final mark there. Let's move it over to the saw. Pull the stock into place. Heave. 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 And turn it on. Right, boss. Steady. Now, into the chuck. Perfect. Next we need to turn the length of the body down to 12mm. I need to be closer for this one. Beautiful. Now we need to drill and ream down the middle for the axle and leave a 5.5mm hole in the far end to tap the thread.
Take me in a bit closer. Stop the lathe. Help! I think I'm melting. This is all your fault. I'll supervise this one from back here. Now we part it off and tap the other end. What the hell is that? An M5 tap, like you asked for. You said we needed a 5.5mm hole. We could make a brass plug and re-drill it. That would break the single piece of stock rule. Quick, let's make the plug before anyone notices and you fit it somewhere else while no one's looking. Second part, ready for chucking. This part's outer diameter is similar to machine, but needs to be turned down to 8mm to fit into the first part. Let's check the fit. Now we need to turn a 6mm diameter mount for a bearing under each end of the part. The bearing needs to be a press fit, so the outer diameter should be 0.01mm oversize. We need to switch to a smaller radius insert for these operations, to ensure the inside corners are clean enough. Alright boss. That just fits, but it'll need to be pressed on. We'll do that later. Onto the second mount and clean up that brass plug before somebody sees it.
before we fit the bearings, we need to drill a mounting hole for the steering column through both parts. I've set the horizontal axis to the correct point from the back jaw, so use a spotting drill here. Next step is to drill and tap a hole in for the retaining screw and mill a slot for the screw head. We can keep both parts aligned in this V-block using a pin through the steering column holes. Now we'll square the bottom of the counterbore with an end mill to make a firm seat for the screw head before tapping the thread. Remove the pin and the inner part and we'll mill a slot to define the range of movement of the screw. Ok, back to the lathe to make the wheels. The inside of the wheel needs to be bored to the OD of the bearing. As we messed up the threaded hole for the screw to retain the wheels, we'll bore this 0.01mm undersize and then press the bearings on.
Make another wheel the same while we start fitting the bearings. Gently. Great, now the wheel. And now the wheel for the other part. Fantastic, let's put it together. It works! I can balance! Now for a test drive. Whee! 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 A screwdriver sharpener. Where did that come from? Looks like the design I sketched in my notebook. That'll be handy. 